Omicron is spreading like wildfire here in Ontario, with the new variant doubling every three days. At this rate, we'll be seeing 10,000 cases a day by New Year's Eve. The head of Ontario's science table says we need swift action now to slow transmission and debunks the belief that Omicron causes a milder infection. They need to let go of their idea of a normal um, Christmas holiday. This won't be normal. We need to brace for impact now. Dr. Peter Uni says it's remarkable how fast the new variant is taking over. And at this point, there's no stopping the fifth wave. Omicron will be the dominant strain in the coming days and will replace Delta soon after. He also wants to make it clear that the belief Omicron is a milder strain is a myth. The disease may be milder in those who are immune. Um, or partially immune. Those who are not vaccinated and were never infected, they have a very high risk now to get it infected within the next few weeks. It's most likely the case that it will not be dramatically less severe than Delta was in the unvaccinated non-immune. Third dose is open this morning for the millions of Ontarians who are 50 and older. While thousands booked appointments, many more couldn't get through on the provincial vaccine website. Some tweeting the soonest they could get their shot was in January. Dr. Uni says we should be reopening the mass vaccination centers, ramping up our vaccine response to the 200,000 doses a day like we were doing over the summer. And while we wait for those vaccines to take effect, stronger public health measures are urgent. Should the province be coming out and announcing capacity limits on, on bars, restaurants, arenas? Should the province be coming out and, you know, putting capacity limits on, on Christmas gatherings? I think this is uh, something that needs to happen, yes, indeed. Let's be very clear, you know, this moves so fast right now with the doubling time of uh, three days, roughly. Um, there's no way that we can vaccinate enough people with the third dose that this will control the current wave. It's public health measures that can control the current wave. While it's possible hospitals become overwhelmed once again with COVID-19 patients in the coming months, another concern is the impact this will have on healthcare workers. If enough become infected at the same time and have to isolate, staffing shortages will be a major issue. This wave will come. It's here already. This is really, really uh, unprecedented from my perspective. Now, the province tells me that Ontario's chief medical officer will continue reviewing data and act as necessary to limit transmission. Meanwhile, Kingston, which is seeing high case counts, is strengthening public health measures by limiting gatherings to five people and adding new restrictions to settings such as bars and restaurants.